guys it's me again so um before i really start this video i would like to just say a few things uh one i'm gonna be putting out uh for every speed paint i make i will put out another tutorial if you'd like to vote on uh which types of like you'd want me to see um i do post like polls in my discord server that's in the description and i also have a patreon page for other exclusive perks and stuff I will start doing polls there too if I get enough traction on there as well. And I think a really important message uh, to say before I really start this is that there is no correct way to do anatomy and that while it's good to stay consistent and all that, it's uh, also really good to step outside your comfort zone every once in a while. And I'm also recording this audio before I really draw anything. So in the background, I will have uh, me drawing a variety of styles and references with different uh, types of anatomy and facial structuring. So if you would like to take inspiration off of any one of those um, styles, you can. So when people first do art, they may be interested in drawing either people like I do, backgrounds, or uh, animals. Or very specific objects such as the art of realism um but if you see my art and you're like oh my gosh i want to jump in there and like do that style so badly i want to draw a bunch of realistic art um you can try but there really is a building process to get up to that point a lot of which uh, is practicing anatomy, uh, shading techniques, and various other techniques with uh, background detailing. When you first start drawing, the best thing you can really do is just start out with sketches. Whether it's digital or traditional, you have to start out with a sketch of some kind, and you can do a variety of sketches just to practice. You know, if you don't like something, then you can always just try again. Once you have uh, your sketch all done, you can go on to drawing some sort of line art, unless you're going for a non-line art style. I'll get that into that just in just a moment. Um, so with line art, you want to try and avoid sketching your line art again or doing chicken scratch. Um, I usually use a tool, like a line tool, to help me with my line art. Some people do, some people prefer to just uh, freehand it, which is perfectly fine. Now, if you're going for a non-line art look, uh, I'd have uh, all the pieces of anything that uh, is going to be separated or is going to be shaded over into different layers. Now, when coloring art, um, usually you should uh, tend to stay away from having a thing be the same exact hue. and do not use a whole lot of dark colors at the same time and also don't use a whole lot of uh, brightly saturated colors a lot of the time. There's a thing called color theory and I'm bad at explaining it but you can experiment and add a bunch of colors around in the picture and see what looks good. As for shading, I would really avoid uh, just shading with white and black in layers and like setting the opacity and stuff to uh, specific percentage kind of throw off the picture if you're trying to go for a very um specific uh, environment unless you're like trying to go for uh the look of those dc comics or marvel comics i would seriously avoid uh stay away with shading with black and white colors in case you didn't know i also have made a tutorial for how i shade things so I'll have that in a playlist at the very end of this video you can click on and see. Really though, what's best when um, practicing art and art style is that you should start out simplistic and then work your way up to more complicated style practices. Uh, it's okay if you, you know, mess up along the way and stuff, or if anything you draw like doesn't look right because I tend to notice that in my art too. and. It's okay, really. You've done. Uh, you finished a piece. You probably worked really, really hard on it, and it's done. You can show it off and all that. I'm going to end the video off by saying, um, always practice. You can try new things with each uh, new art piece you do. 
kind of like how I do a lot of the times. Uh, try different you know techniques and texturing. Also, the best thing you can do is draw every day. Even if if it's uh, to add just a little bit to a piece, you could probably uh, think of something new to try while you're working on one. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, if you would like. I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a like and subscribe if you found this really helpful. Uh, go check out my socials as I post artwork there and still images of the speed paints I post. Uh, make sure to join the Discord server if you want to see uh, another similar art community like this who uh, just likes drawing in video games. And uh, maybe check out the Patreon and read some of the perks and if you like what you see, um, consider becoming a Patreon too. Thank you.